Hello everyone! Welcome po ulit sa ating video tutorial. I hope you are all doing well and thank you for subscribing to our Mat Isip YouTube channel and for following us on Facebook. Thank you also for not skipping the ads during our video tutorials. Okay? So sa ngayon, ang ating lesson po ay solving problems involving volume of rectangular pyramid. This is the second part or part 2 po ito nung ating previous lesson on deriving the formula of a rectangular pyramid. Kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood yun, you can watch our previous upload para maintindihan nyo kung paano na-derive yung formula ng rectangular pyramid. So without further ado, let's now begin with our practice. At the end of this video, you will be able to solve problems involving the volume of rectangular pyramids. Okay, so let's review. Ano po ba yung volume or yung formula natin in getting the volume of a rectangular prism? Okay, in getting the rectangular prism, all we have to do is to multiply the area of the base times the height. Or, since this is rectangle, ang area ng base natin is just length times width. And for getting the volume, you just multiply it by the height. Okay, ngayon ano naman po ang volume ng rectangular pyramid? In our previous video na derived natin doon using the GeoGebra tool at saka yung ating uh, liquid volume na pinakita ko at uh, naintindihan din natin doon na ang volume lang ng pyramid is just one-third of the volume of the rectangular prism. So, the formula is just one-third times base times height. O di kaya ay one-third times length times width times height since we are dealing with rectangular pyramid. Okay, diretso na po tayo dito. Solving problems involving volume of a rectangular pyramid. I'm going to present to you five examples. So let's proceed now with the first one. Let me read the problem. A construction company is building a monument shape like a rectangular pyramid. The base of the pyramid has an area of 150 square feet and the height of the pyramid is 12 feet. What is the volume of the monument that will be filled with concrete? Okay, so ano po yung mga given natin? First, we have the base or the area of the base which is 150 square feet. Okay, given na po siya. Hindi na po kailangang mag- uh, uh, multiply ng length times width kasi meron na ang area. What else? Meron na rin po ang ating height which is 12 feet. All you have to do is to substitute to our formula para makuha po yung volume. Okay? Our formula is one-third times base times height. So our base is 150. Our height is 12. 150 times 12, we will get 1,800. Now, paano po ulit natin i-multiply sa ating fraction? We can multiply this by the numerator 1 and then divide it again by the, the denominator which is 3. Or simply, we just divide this by 3. Ganun lang po ka simple. We can just divide it by 3. We will get 600 cubic feet. So, the volume of the monument that will be filled with concrete is 600 cubic feet. Okay, let's go to example number 2. Let me read the problem. A farmer is building a storage shed for hay. Ito po yung hay. And he wants to design it in the shape of a rectangular pyramid as you can see here in the illustration. The base of the shed is 8 meters long. 8 meters po yung haba. And then 6 meters wide. 6 meters po yung kanyang lapad. And the height of the shed will be 10 meters. 10 meters ang taas. Now, how much space will be available for storing hay inside the pyramid shape shed? So, if they are asking about how much space, we are now dealing with volume. So, the given, let's list down the given. Length natin is 8 meters. Width is 6 meters. And height is 10 meters. Now, what is the volume? Okay, using the formula, pyramid, the volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third times length times width times height. Okay, kasi given na yung tatlo. Let's, uh, let's substitute. We have 8 times 6 times 10. We will get 480 times one-third or you will just get the one-third of 480. You just divide this by 3, you will get 160 cubic meters. So the farmer can store... 160 cubic meters of hay dito sa kanyang shed. 
Okay, example number three. Let me read. An architect is designing a glass pyramid for a museum. The base of the pyramid is 9 feet long and 5 feet wide. And the height of the pyramid will be 11.5 feet. Estimate the volume of the pyramid to calculate the amount of glass needed. So, maliit lang po yung pyramid na gagawin niya. So, our given length is just 9 feet. Width is just 5 feet. And then, height is 11.5 Feet. Okay, using again the same formula, makukuha natin yung vo volume. So, yung formula natin is pyramid is equal to, the volume of the pyramid is equal to one-third times length times width times height. Okay, substitute lang natin. Length is 9, width is 5, height is 11.5. So, 9 times 5 times 11.5, our answer is 517.5. Times one third, or you just multiply it by the numerator, divide it by the denominator, or simply divide it by three. We will get one hundred seventy-two point five. Ang ating unit ay cubic feet. So the estimated volume is one hundred seventy-two point five cubic feet. Okay, now example number four. Let me read. A contractor is filling a rectangular pyramid shape fountain with water the volume of the pyramid is 900 cubic meters okay dito pa lang alam mo na na given yung volume so ano kayang hinahanap next let's read let's continue and the base area is 225 square meters given na rin po ang base area now what is the height of the pyramid shape fountain so ang hinahanap naman dito is yung kanyang height Okay, so again, let's list down kung ano po yung mga given. We have here 225 as the area or the base. And we have here 900 uh, cubic meter as the volume. Now, we are looking for the height. So, ano pong formula ang gagamitin natin dito? Just simply use the one-third base times height. Okay, so let's substitute. Ang ating base po ay 225. At ang ating uh, volume ay 900. Okay? So, na-explain ko po ito during the previous video. Kung ang hinahanap naman natin ngayon is height, all we have to do is is multiply yung ating 225 by one-third. Or, ibig sabihin, you just divide 225 by 3. Pwedeng i-divide natin ito at makukuha natin yung number. Pero, pwede rin naman na ang gawin natin Para lang matanggal si denominator is just multiply this fraction by what number para maging whole number siya. Okay, correct. We will just multiply it by 3. Kung ano po yung denominator niya, yun ang multiply natin para matanggal. Okay, so 225 times 3, we will get 225. Therefore, wala na po yung kanyang denominator. Okay, because remember, 225 by 3, tapos i-divide mo by 3, the same number. Okay, the next, kung ginawa mo yan, gawin mo din sa other side of the equation. So, 900, multiply mo rin ng 3, you will get 2,700. Now, in this case, para makuha mo ulit si height, remember, 200, uh, 2,700 is equal to these two numbers na pag pinag-multiply mo, makukuha mo ito. Okay, so yung 225 times yung value ng height na hindi pa rin natin alam, all you have to do is to reverse the process. Ano ba ang reverse ng uh, multiplication? You just divide. Okay, so i-divide natin si 2,700 by 225 para makuha mo si height. Therefore, the value of height is 2,700 divided by 225, you will get 12 meters. Okay, the height of the pyramid is 12 meters. Okay, last example po. No? Example number 5. An artist is creating a sculpture shape like a rectangular pyramid. The base of the sculpture is 7 meters long and 4 meters wide. And the height is 9 meters. So, dito pa lang, if you observe, given na po yung length, yung width, tsaka yung height. Now, how much material will the artist need to fill the pyramid? So, ang keyword natin dyan is fill. Ibig sabihin yung space, yung volume ng pyramid ang hinahanap. Alright, given we have length is 7 meters, 
width is 4 meters, and then height is 9 meters. Now, for our solution, we will solve the volume by using the formula 1 third times length times width times height. Substitute lang natin. Length is four, uh, 7, width is 4, and then height is 9. So, 7 times 4 times 9, we will get 252 times 1 third or divide by 3. Okay, we will get 84 cubic meters. So, the volume of the sculpture is 84 cubic meters meters. Okay, now let's proceed dito po sa ating mga practice questions. In this activity, you are going to find the volume of solid figure with the following measurements. Okay, so parang katulad po dun sa mga examples natin kanina, you are going to apply the formula of the volume of a rectangular pyramid. So I'm going to give you time. You can screenshot or pwede nyong ipost itong video to copy the problems and then try to answer it on your paper. So this is actually five items. Okay, ito po yung number four and number five. And then balik na lang po kayo dito later on if you are finished to see and check your answers. Papakita po natin yung mga sagot dito in detail. Okay, I hope now you are ready to see the answers. Let me now show you the solution for these problems in complete details. At ito po yung kanyang given. Ito po yung solution. And our final answer for number 1 is 600 cubic feet. Okay, next for number 2. We have here the complete solution. And our final answer is 420 cubic meters. Next, for number 3, our final answer is 176 cubic feet. And for number 4, ang hinahanap na dito is height. The height of this pyramid is 12 meters. And lastly, for number 5, the volume of the pyramid is 150 cubic meters. So, pakicheck na lang po ang inyong mga sagot with complete solution. I hope nakuha nyo po ng tama yung mga sagot dito sa ating activity. At kung hindi naman po, you can always go back to the solution para po malaman nyo kung saan kayo kailangang mag-improve. Alright, so that's it for our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. I hope meron po ulit kayong natutunan at nakapag-practice po kayo in getting the volume of a rectangular pyramid. See you on the next video. Ang atin pong pag-aaralan sa susunod ay volume of square pyramid naman. Okay? God bless po and see you on the next one. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang math ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa math isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye!